So I'm at the Gora Mountain uh, parking lot. It's uh, 525 feet. Parking lot's full. I have a feeling this will be like hiking through a mall. Um, but maybe once I get to the far side, I'll take the, the beehive loop. I don't know if I will because it would be crowded walking back, but we'll see how it goes. The trail is mostly these uh, granite. Uh, ledges and I'm out of breath because I had to blow by some folks. It's kind of crowded up here today. It's kind of nice once you get up here in the shade. There's a lot of standing water though and you can kind of see some mud there. So I'm happy to get above the crowds. It's kind of crowded down there. There's like a little plaque or some sort of memorial but it's kind of all like this. Just Pleasant enough hike. There's a view of Sand Beach, sort of halfway up Gorham Mountain, and then there's a lot of cliffs over there through the trees. You might be able to see it. And then a uh, pretty steep drop off right here. Okay. There's a lot of little pine trees here, and they're very fragrant. They smell really wonderful in the in the sunshine. Guess I'll pick up that candy wrapper. Nice vantage point of uh, Sand Beach and then the Park Loop Road down there that all goes all the way down to Otter Cliffs and beyond. There's kind of a first summit where uh, you think that must be the top and then it kind of keeps going for quite a ways. Five or ten minutes and so the top is kind of like a plateau. You can kind of see the beehive over there that we climbed last week. So I'm still hunting for the uh, trailhead marker. A nice view facing west. You can kind of see that um, road down there is the Park Loop Road. And that goes to uh, Seal Harbor and then down to um, northeast and southwest harbors. I'm not sure where that hill over there is. That might be Day Mountain. We'll find out. Uh, we'll find out soon. That might be the next one we're climbing. So over there is the beehive that I was on top of last week. I'm following the loop. I'm going to go down the back side of Gora Mountain to connect to the beehive loop, and then I'll walk back along the road just so I don't have to go uh, down the way I came, see something new and uh, avoid the gaggles of dogs and children and families and everything else. The road less traveled here. There's this sort of natural rock wall here. It's really kind of uniform. It's really beautiful seeing the water drip off that. Nice view here of Skudik Point, that uh, expanse of land across the bay is also part of the park. It just takes about an hour and a half to drive there by land, you know, you could get there really fast with a boat. Um, someday I'll go over there and maybe I'll do a video. There's some beautiful birds in here, but of course. As soon as I start filming video, they're quiet. Stupid birds. Oh, there's one. And here I am after climbing down the back side of uh, Gorham, right uh, where I was last week. So I'm gonna follow this path back to a loop road. I just saw the biggest uh, woodpecker I think I've ever seen. I'll have to go look it up in the book. It was, um, gosh, I thought it was like a grouse or something. It was amazing. Couldn't get a video though. So here I am back on the uh, Park Loop Road, walking back to the car. Should have parked where I parked last week, which is right there. Almost back to the car, nice view there of uh, Otter Cliffs, which we'll kind of drive by on the way home, but we're probably not going to stop at a nice, at a steep cliff drop off there. And here we are, about a 
20 minute walk from Sand Beach along the ocean path and we're back at uh, Gorham Mountain Trail. So here we are back at the car, did Gorham Mountain Trail down the far side to uh, back to the Beehive Trail and then walked along the ocean path about 20 minutes. Um, real good. I'm not sure I'd do this side again during the summer because it's so busy. I would do uh, the far side, I'd do it backwards. I would do the far side, go up the Beehive Trail, do the back side of Gorham Mountain, and then come down the busy side, park at Sand Beach, and then walk back along the Ocean Trail. Um, yeah, I'd do it in reverse. Um, I think that would be a lot more pleasant, but um, glad I did it, glad I saw that giant woodpecker, that was very cool. Um, some other small birds. Um, yeah, I see why it's so popular, but I'd probably wait and do it in the off season if I did it again. So, and next up, uh, next week we're going to do Day Mountain. So that'll be a different part of the park. That'll be fun. Okay. Good day. I, I was sitting there. Are you going to let me do my video? You want to be in the video? <laughs>